Hi, the question says, what are the limitations of the J.J. Thomson's model of an atom? So let us understand what was actually J.J. Thomson's model of an atom. So his model was named given the name of plum pudding model. So he suggested that the entire atom consists of a positively charged sphere called the pudding and he suggested that electrons are randomly distributed as plums which are embedded inside this pudding. So let us now list down the limitations of the J.J. Thomson's model. The first limitation was that he was not able to explain how the positive charge is helping the, neutral, uh, the negative charge particles that is electrons to be embedded inside the atom and he also failed to explain how atom is generally stable. The another defect or limitation of J.J. Thomson's model was that he did not mention anything about the presence of nucleus in an atom. He only described about the positive charge and the negative charges but nothing about the nucleus. So this were the limitations of J.J. Thomson's model of an atom. Thank you.